Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, today we're going to look at how to test for uh, unit root in the, in the presence of cross-sectional dependency in your uh, sample. Uh, before we start, I'll give you some few notes about the unit root test and then go ahead to do the test in its data. And then also show you how to present the test results in your research paper. So notes, uh, the unit root test in the presence of cross-sectional difference. There are two commands that you can use. Today we're going to talk about the XTCI uh, PS command. Okay. Uh, you use this command to test for unit root uh, in the presence of cross-sectional dependence. Two, the test is based on uh, around uh, 20, 2007 paper. Three, uh, we normally use this test uh, with balance panels. So if you're using the balance panel, then you can go ahead and use this test. Uh, there are three specifications. The first one you can specify uh, a model with an individual specific intercept, uh, which is the default uh, in stator. Or you can specify without an intercept. In this case, we use the, uh, the NOC option. And then you can specify with a linear, uh, linear trend uh, also. In doing the test, you have to specify two lags. Uh, max lags are the, they define the dynamic specification of individuals. Uh, and also uh, the maximum lag to be included in the model to be estimated for each of the cross-sectional units. Uh, the BG lag, the BG lag, uh, is about the serial correlation order, which is going to be R1, AR1, or AR2. Okay. The hypothesis for the test is unit root process or non stationary. Okay. Uh, well, the test results are the statistics value, the CIPS, uh, if it's for example, it's negative 1.629, and then you have a critical value uh, at 1% to be, let's say, negative 2.2. Then the statistic value here, the SIPS value, is greater than the critical value at 1%. Now, we're using negative, so 1.629 is greater than negative 2.2 uh, 2 .2, right so in this case we're going to refer to reject the null hypothesis meaning there is unit root process okay on the other hand if the you have the status value to be negative 3.402 and you have a critical value at 1.1%, which is 2.2 negative. Then in this case, uh, this value is less than the critical value at 1%. So then we reject the now, meaning that if you reject the now of unit root, then we accept the alternative of no unit root. Okay, in the data. Uh, along the line, you can also interpret this value in absolute terms. Okay, I will explain that in the details. So let's go to our data. I have the data set here, the panel, which I use for my research. And then, uh, first, we're going to, as usual, XT set our data. Okay. So the command to you is 
XTCRP. Okay. Um, I want to go back to my group file and just copy it. Okay. So I have this here. So I want to test for in rate in, in the GDP per capita per list of power. Okay. So I issue the command my variable and then I specify the maximum like here. Uh, I can change this lab to less than two. The BG lag can be one or two also. The much more lag specification is up to you can may add more lag to it. But the big lag probably one and two will be okay. And then uh, you enter. Okay, so here we are. So let's look at the steps. The statistic value is negative 1.820. Now, look at the critical value at 10 percent five percent and one percent you will see that even at one percent the critical value is minus 2.2 so because the sips value is greater than the critical value even at one percent we fail to reject the null hypothesis which means that there is no stationarity or our data is non-stationary okay. or there is uh, unit roots in this data okay. now if there is a unit root this is then you have to do the level you can add B to this at first difference okay. Okay, so let's look at the result at first difference. You see that here we have the sixth value is three negative three point four two four, and even our test uh, the critical value at one percent is two point one two point two. Okay, so in this case, uh, the sixth value is less than the critical value even at one percent. So we reject the now policies okay, of unit root and a set alternative of no unit root, which means that GDP per capita producing power parity is stationary at first difference. Okay. So this is how you do the SIPS uh, test. You realize that on the issue of the command, you didn't choose, I use the default. Of course, you can also use it, the the trend okay to do your test okay. now uh, how do you present your result in your research paper uh, okay so this is my my own research paper okay uh, you will see that I've done that test for all my variables here and for GDP per capita purchasing power you see that the test statistic is negative 1.424 uh, shows that there is unit root in, in my GDP at level okay then I went on to do the test at first difference and then I've got a test statistics. Okay. The first difference, I've got a test statistics to be 3 minus 3.424. And uh, it's less than the test critical value at this. So uh, we reject the now and that, and that's the alternative, which means uh, this variable is stationary at first difference, right? So you see that at even one percent, uh, it's still less. Okay. So that's why I use the three star to uh, 
to indicate that it's sitting saying to that back not the same. So this is uh, how you get results. And you see that uh, for this test, I've done the test for all the variables for, for of each uh, country of each process units in my sample. Right? So this is how you go about it. You indicate the level. You need to test that level and then you test as a difference. Okay. Uh, luckily enough, for me, all my variables appear to be stationary at first difference. Okay, so this is how you present results in a research paper. Uh, if, if you want to use a uh, train, okay. uh, you can just indicate train. Okay, so you will see that if you indicate trend, we still have GDP to be having a unit root at, uh, at level, right? Because the SIPS value, which is 2.5, is less than the level of significance at 2.72. So again, we fail to reject it, okay? And then you can also use difference, at first difference. So here we see that this, the variable, this is less than the critical value even at 1%, right? So uh, we fail, no, we reject the now hypothesis of unit roots and I said that it's of no unit roots. Now some people will be confused about using the negatives to interpret uh, these results. You can use the absolute value of the test of this NDP and the critical values here. So for this one if you use the absolute value this is positive 2.505 and use the absolute value is a positive 2.72. Okay. In this case, the SIP value right, is less than the critical value at 1% if you use the absolute value. Right. So in this case, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Okay. So if you, even if you want to use the absolute value to interpret it, you get the same outcome. But I, I want to use it as how the test result shows right, in negative y, which means this 2.505 right, is greater than 2.72. Okay, so I feel to reject the nine hypothesis. Okay, so that's all I have for you for today. And you remember that uh, here I I show in my in my paper the negative statistics okay, not the absolute values. Okay. So that's all I have for you for today for the test for unit which in the case of course section of the using the XTCIPS. The next video I will talk about the another command that you can use to test for unit rates. And then I will show you model selections in the plan of course section of the Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.